the power winder on the Honda Element has quit working. The window finally went all the way down in the bottom. I was trying to get it up. It wouldn't go up. It wouldn't go. It would go down a little bit, but it wouldn't go down all the way. Now it's finally went down all the way. And now i got to take this panel off and uh, see what's going on. On this, there's a little panel here that has to be removed. And then there's another one under the handle that has to be removed. And that is uh, a start to getting this uh, off of here. This also has to come off. It should just pull right off. Uh, like that right there. To renew these, you have to use some kind of little screwdriver. It appears there's no place that's uh, on this end where you can put a screwdriver. So you just have to wedge one in between and something small. On the other one, there appears there is a little place on it to get the screwdriver in. You see that comes right off. And inside, there's two screws. And on the bottom one down here, okay, it stays. It stays on. And inside there is a screw. Those screws have to be removed. After doing that with both areas, a piece in the corner has to come off, or needs to come off. Uh, I've done the other side with it on, but it's better if it comes off. So there is a, a snap there, and uh, for that to snap on. So remove that with a screwdriver, just by prizing, being very careful, being as careful as you can. This door panel snaps off. And there's screws in here on the speaker. Now they'll have to be removed, and your speaker will have to be disconnected. Let's remove this speaker. After getting all the screws out, and it will simply unplug. So it unplugs right here at the back. Just push in, and that should come out. Can't do it one-handed. I've been hearing some jarring and I realized my speaker is uh, the edge of it's rotten around the edge so I took it all off and I don't know how this is going to sound now so uh, it unplugs oh it would just come right off at the bottom and then get the top off be very cautious this right here is going to want to hold you so Remove this and uh, take this part off. By putting a screwdriver in under this tab right here, pushing it over like that, and that should let that release. There you go. Should be free. To remove, be very cautious at the top. Do a lift up motion like this. Try to get everything to come loose. For this, you're going to have a clip that has to be removed. Here. Uh, it's got a catch on the bottom catch right here. So while that's that removed by pushing it in. Push it in that catch and there we go. Now I'll lay this to the side somewhere. Now you're gonna have all this plastic stuff here. So be as cautious as you can tearing that off. You don't really want to tear it off you just want to remove it as easy as possible because you got to put that back on. It may remove this out that's uh, made out of uh, appears to be the bottom of the rubber. There's one on the other side. 
move that out and uh, try to be as uh, gentle as you can getting us loose so be as gentle as you can I end up cutting and ripping some of mine and you're gonna have glue nasty glue on this so be advised of that no oh, I found the problem the cable either came out or broke or loose it looks like it may have just came out but I don't know this is I'm assuming white bithium grease Look your unit here and uh, I gotta find out the catch release on that I think it's okay it's at the bottom Now that is part of the unit, and that has a, a thing on it to where I don't know how it exactly works, but it's hung up and stuck to the door with this. You just simply push down on it and it releases. So these three screws, these three bolts, these are 10 millimeter heads. Pretty tight, you just don't remove them all the way. Not loose enough, but I gotta see what's happening with my window. I'm gonna try to get these bolts on the window, this bolted to the window, uh, here and over here to be in these holes where I can get them loose. 10 millimeter heads. And remember, when you take that last screw out, this window's going to fall. So be ready to hold it over here. If you don't have your part ready to go right now, take a zip tie. Go into the bottom where you took a bolt out. Pull this all the way up the top of your window. And pull your window all the way up. Take the bolt hole, one of the bolt holes. Find it in here. Put a zip tie through here and throughout and then come bring it up here and pull it. And then, if you can, grab hold it with some pliers, and which I don't have good pliers here. Just have these uh, needle nose of ice grips. Well, maybe they work. Try to pull that as much as you can without breaking it. Keep your window up as tight as you can. Remove your unit and put your other unit back in when you get it. Okay, you're going to have a bracket here and here that you're going to have to take some pliers and squeeze. And then hopefully it will, just like it did there, I just released it. Over here did the same thing. Try to squeeze and push in at the same time, just like that. Take loose these two bolts, this bolt. And this bolt, all four bolts, it's got to come out. You can remove this one, remove this one, and remove this one. All three of those. Just loosen that one up and leave it in there. You wouldn't have to, but on your new unit, uh, that should be just loose so you can just put it right down in the hole. But if you'd like to remove it on the old one, I don't see why you could. It's going to go on remove mine in case the new unit. And I'm going to do these at the bottom ones first. These are 10 millimeter. And I'm going to leave that one for last. I'm going to hold it in there and I'm going to get it out. Will the new unit come with bolts? I would say not. I would say we would have to use... I never bought one for this side. But I'm thinking the other side, it does not come with any bolts. So you have to reuse your bolts. And remember that one's gold. So that's the one that goes up there that's uh, i don't know why they want that one to exactly go up there but i guess that's why it's gold 
leaving that bolt in to last, it's gonna hold it. And remember, you're gonna have to work everything out here, and this is part of it right here already. This is your motor. And uh, where it, your motor and where it winds up and winds out. So, that's that. Well, I finally got it out. Here it is, out of the vehicle. So, I had some issues. I tried to cut my cable. And uh, because I had my cable hooked in with the zip tie, and the zip tie broke, the window fell, but it didn't break, and I had to put another zip tie up, which I didn't show on camera. And I tried to cut my cable and uh, twist it, and when I was twisting it, I, uh, I uh, broke my zip tie. Now, where this was broke at... I don't even see it the time. Or not really broke. Come -a loose. I don't see where it was. But at the time of me trying to get the cable broke, I thought I'm going to get another one anyway. So. Because uh, something was truly wrong. And I don't know where it's even at. Now, whether that's still good or not, except for the freight cable, it's a good question. The motor still works. But I'm just going to replace it with a new one. This is Jeff. Until next time, bye for now.